Hey guys, this is Jacob. In this video I'd like to go through the new events that came into Torchlight. You can access event list in this Flaxon <laughs> icon. <laughs> and the events would be... Uh, well, the Black Cell rises again. That's an event that is going for quite a while now. You can get the purple balls for that for buying for buying outfits. So you can do that one. And what what is nice about this one is that you can like learn the black cell boss fight for free. You can just do the event boss over and over and just learn the fight there. And then we have two new <coughs> exclusive events going. One is Dragon Celebration, that's for the Chinese New Year, if I got it right. And that is going from yesterday actually. So, as in the winter we had Ice Flake Hunt, when we were dropping these Dazzling Snowflakes. This is a similar event where we are hunting for Dragon Roar Firecrackers. So those are dropping from monsters, so you just drop them and then you buy these items here. <coughs> For the free to play players, I'd recommend farming at least 100 of those and buy all of these orange Pact Spirit crystals, which will let you buy Pact Spirits for free, so you don't have to spend your money on them. I would not advise anyone to spend money on pack spirits, like you can play this game completely for free. No matter what people say on the internet, Torchlight is not pay to win, at least not in my opinion. I haven't paid pretty much anything for the game, so yeah, you, you can get a lot of the pay, a lot of the paid items for free from events like this one. So buy at least the orange ones. And then you can buy 10 of the purple ones, which are used to buy outfits. And then we have the Draconic Wonders event, which is a different type of event. You get free quests, or you get 9 quests. You get 9 quests every day. You can stack the quests for 4 days, so you can stack up to 36 days, 36 quests, so if you cannot play the game for like 4 days, you don't need to be afraid of like losing on some points, and you don't need to like do all the quests anyway, I'm, I've done like 4 days of these, 3 days of these, and I'm over halfway through. And from this event, uh, or in this event, you have to complete these quests, like those rotate every day. You get 9 quests every day and you can be working on 3 quests at a time. I have to defeat Plane Watchers here, so that would complete all 3 quests. But there are quests like kill 30 magic monsters, kill 100 rare monsters and such, so yeah, nothing nothing hard, you just complete it by playing the game, pretty much. And what you get for those, uh, for these, is you get the tax vouchers, which you can exchange for a flame elementium if you sell something on the marketplace and you get taxed, so you can get your flame elementium back through these. <coughs> and then you get these Appearance Crystal, Red Dragon. What you can get for these, you can get ten, or you can get uh, five, five, and ten. So you can get twenty of those, and then you go to the Boon Shop here, or to the Boon Tab, and you go to um, Roaming Dragon here. And you can roll two times. If you complete all the quests, you can roll two times here and you can get these like outfits for free, basically. And the outfit list is here. <coughs> so that's a skin for the Forsaken, which is the Spirit Lady, the Spirit Magus. You can get this skin and some 
other some, some other skins as well. So uh, staff skin, crossbow skin, and emotes for the Forsaken. So if you play that, you can get these skins. If you don't play that, you have a chance to get the orange crystals for <coughs> Pact Spirits and purple crystals for other outfits. Uh, for the Pact Spirits, once you get the orange crystals, you can go, for example, here, and you can roll for Pact Spirits here for the orange crystals. And depending on when you tr when you decide to spend your <coughs> Pact Spirit crystals, there could be different events going on, on. So you can have a chance to get different Pact Spirits for the same currency. So you you might even decide to hold for them for the next season and see what what will come there. And for the appearance boons, you get the appearance crystals, the purple ones. As of right now, you can roll them for <coughs> the holographic war. Oh, you can check those yourself. I won't go through all of them. But yeah, that's these. And then there is this pack, Dazzling Treasures, and I would like to get at least this one, so I will try to roll it right now, so 10 rolls for 10 balls and I basically got all this currency and you are guaranteed to get at least one of the seven in the list and I got lucky I wanted this one so I got it <laughs> okay so yeah and every 10 rolls you are guaranteed to get one of these and you cannot get the same twice so you if you have enough of the purple balls stacked up, I have these stacked up from the previous season events, you can possibly get all of them, if you like all of them. Oh yeah. And then there is this dancing snow pack. Next season there will be different things and different events will come up. I bet that something with eggs and rabbits will come up on Easter, so we'll see. So yeah, that that this is how you can get free items in Torchlight, and that's pretty much some event running all time. So yeah, hop into the game and get your free stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.